based on that, and I think uh, the person sitting right next to me, you know, Tegla, I mean, you, you represent, you know, missionary in a, in a genuine way. You know, you started off, would love to share, have you share your story in your own words. Uh, and my question for you is, you know, we all are coming from the world of business and government and so forth, and we look at competition, we look at, you know, uh, uh, kind of competing for resources, competing for business, and so forth. From the world of sports, you know, can you give us some perspective on competition and how it, how it brings out and how it channelizes and what are the lessons to be given to this audience here on, on competition? Well, uh, I come from Kenya and uh, I lost to find those who have been in uh, East Africa. I grew up in a community whereby women were not allowed to do sports. Um, anyway, to, uh, to cut my story uh, short, I used to go 10 kilometers each day to school. Uh, every morning and then the evening is uh, 20 kilometers. Um, uh, to give me that uh, opportunity to be a good athlete is that um, the community only allow, allow boys and I realize that I can do something. I can also generate something for the community. Not to be a woman and then tomorrow uh, get uh, married. So she used to run 10 kilometers in the morning to go to school and run back 10 kilometers so without barefoot. Without, without, uh, without shoes. Shoes. Right, yes, yeah. <laughs> And then uh, when, I went, uh, when I went to high school, so at least I had opportunities uh, to study at the same time and do more sports. So my first agenda is that, uh, to be one of the best. So I represent the country, and coming out, I realized that there is so negative about Africa, and especially, uh, especially in uh, women athletics. So the first thing I came to realize that I think I have to open the doors to other women. Not knowing also that the sports uh, can generate income. Otherwise, yeah, you could not do sports without having anything, any, any other alternative. Um, I was eyeing about the uh, English Christianity of Norway. And then I say, I think also uh, African women, because we don't have opportunities to do sports, uh, to do a business, just like others. For me, I had opportunity to train in Germany. So I learned many as opportunities. And I came with the idea that I had to take the risk and leave my job. I used to work with the telephone. And leaving my job, I think I'll open more doors than, than have my own um, capacity to earn money. So when I left the world level for English Christianity, it opened the doors for African women. First of all, winning New York with the first African to win the New York Marathon. It opened a lot of doors. So I... This was 1994? This is 94. And then 98 yeah. is when I broke the English Christianity World Record. It came, uh, it came to my mind also that I come from a conflict area. What is the solution for our people to understand that also sports can open doors? So I went back home. <coughs> and I started talking to the Federation that we need a a peace event in West of Oport. That's the uh, area close to here in Uganda. And then they say, you know, this area is a very, uh, it's a war torn area. And we are not going to allow anybody else to go there. For me, and then I say, listen, um, even businesses, people cannot go there because there is insecurity. And again, I open the doors for Kenya. And now it's not only the Kenya, it's the continent of Africa. If you don't want to allow me to do it, and then, I was trying. And then, having a strong head, I went to Parliament. It was around 3 o'clock. So by then, the members of Parliament came out of the Parliament. So I came with the idea, listen, we have Sudanese in our, in our village, in, in our village anyway, in that uh, community. And those people are, that they are displaced in their own country. And I think we can use sports so that leaders can understand, and also media, can understand that all of us, we can make something. But when it comes to political thing, or rally, nobody wants to, to go there. But sports, everybody loves to watch sports. And this is the time where you can prepare a platform for everybody. Yeah, in fact, this is you know, a very interesting thought because I heard this.